Welcome to Machine Series Anime Tutorial Series. In this series, my goal is to provide you with the principles and tools and what you will need to know in order to make an anime from top to bottom, as well as how to make money from it. Even though it's not easy, be prepared. For starters, I will cover the basics. When you start an animation, generally you start with extreme position. Here are labeled two extreme starting position, extreme A and extreme B. We want the cookie to move from extreme A to extreme B and back again. Keyframe. Now we need to do a keyframe to determine the midway point of the animation. A keyframe is any drawing that determines major changes in the animation. Motion arc. In nature, things that are moving in motion are moving in arcs. And in animation, we call it the motion arcs. For animators, we use the motion arc to guide where things move. See the red curvy lines I have drawn on the screen? That's the motion arc we will use for the pendulum swing. Motion arc is generally used for animation sketching and planning process. Unless the scene requires it, like light trails or sword fights, we don't usually leave motion arc sketches for the finished animation. And for some very experienced animators, they see motion arcs in their head. They hardly sketch it out even though it's there in their planning. Twins, twinning, and twinners. Joins in between keyframes are called in-betweens. Animators often call it twins for short. Animators who add drawings to keyframes are called in-betweeners or twinners. And the act of adding drawings between keyframes is called twinning. Keep in mind that the closer the drawings are to each other, the slower the animation. The slower the animation, the more drawings are required. I don't know about you, but as an animator, I really, really don't like slow animation anymore. <laughs> and of course, the further apart the drawings are, the faster the animation. If the drawings are too far apart, however, will jump out of the motion arc, it will appear jumpy. But jumpy animation isn't all bad. Sometimes it makes sense, like a ninja suddenly jump from point A to point B, or a spaceship doing time warp. It is also very common that an animated scene will need more than one motion arc. The pendulum swing exercise is the most basic use of motion arcs. Now that the basics have been explained to you, if you have never animated before, doing a pendulum swing exercise will be a great place to start. If this is your first time doing the exercise, I will encourage you to draw the pendulum, or the cookie, whatever you want for the scene, by hand over and over again, whether on computer or on paper. For the design of the pendulum, you don't want to deal with any complex shape outside of circle or square yet, if this is your first time, trust me. Your goal is to keep the drawings as steady as possible, avoiding changing its size or shape. After you finish your exercise, it's always a good idea to get feedback, whether it's online or in person. Next up is bouncing ball. We will discuss one of the most important principles of animation, squash and stretch.